twice, same song, but brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. You would take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts. The best me is with you, but I know I got a lot to prove. They think we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to Young, but I know we won't give this up. We're now at Desierto de los Leones, which means Desert of the Lions. Luckily for us, there are no lions here, just a lot of dogs. It was named after the family which helped to develop this area. The family was called Leonis, so that's why it's called Desert of the Lions. We're about an hour into a 8km loop. We have made no progress at all because we're totally unfit. <laughs> Everyone here is super fit. See people running, cycling, speed walking up the mountain, which is insane but it's good training for our next one. So. Yep, onward and upward we go. Here on a Saturday morning, it's a little bit more crowded than normal, but still not many people. And the park is really quiet and serene. There's no signal over here, so make sure that you're well prepared with your offline maps before you come here. We'll show you how to do that later in this video. <sighs> Halfway more. We're about five to six kilometers into the hike. Haven't seen many people. Jocelyn's straggling behind. It's uphill non-stop. Hopefully at the end, the views will be worth it. There it is. I believe that should be Cerro San Miguel.
seem to have brought along some friends. Almost done. Downhill from here, I think. It better be downhill. Oh, I stay in the sand where we are going down. No idea. It's a rattlesnake. That's very dangerous. Alright, see you buddy. Oh, there's another bug here. We finally come to the end of our trek. I'm so tired. I'm carrying this camera <laughs> and this camera. I don't know why I need two cameras, <laughs> but I do apparently. And now we're going for lunch. Lunch, lunch. <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed that Craig Adams inspired hiking video. As promised, I'll now show you how to prepare for your own trip to the Desert of Lions using two of my favorite applications. The first app that I use very often for planning hikes and backpacking trips is CalTopo, an online mapping tool which was initially created to help search and rescue organizations. It allows you to make detailed route plans. As you can see, I had initially planned two longer hikes to the peak of Cerro San Miguel. The tool also allows you to see the terrain profile and elevation. Add points of interest. and draw new routes which automatically snap to known hiking trails. Most importantly, you're also able to export the data into a GPS readable format which you can use on your cell phone or even a portable GPS device. The second app that I like to use when traveling is Maps With Me. I found that it works better than even Google Maps in certain countries. Be sure to download the offline map of the location that you're going to before leaving for your trip. Many people don't know that the GPS in your phone works even without signal. In fact, when I'm in an area without strong signal, I usually turn my phone to airplane mode which allows me to continue using the GPS while also saving precious battery life. To use the CalTopo GPS data in Maps With Me, first load them into your phone 
in my case, I emailed them to myself. The file will look like a bunch of random numbers, and these are actually the GPS coordinates for your route. Now just click on the menu on the right and open the file in Maps with Me. That's it. Now you have the offline map that you can use while in the backcountry. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content in the future. Why is he filming muddy water? Filming the tiniest stream of water. Filming every single stream.